hello wonderful friends welcome back to my channel please this is not drawn to scale the question says that we should find the area of this particular rectangle that is area of a b c d now this is the radius of the big circle and three is the radius of the smaller circle and the middle of this big circle because this is not drawn to scale this is supposed to touch this at somewhere so this is at the the middle of this bigger circle is also at the center of this line okay all right now area of a rectangle is what length times breadth length times breadth so it means that if we can find the length of a b and multiply it by the length of a d then we are done now first of all let us try to find the length of a b the length of a b let's analyze first remember that any line drawn from the center of the circle to each circumference is a radius okay so if i draw this line from the center of the circle to the circumference let's call this this radius is eight right so this is also eight all right and this place is equal to this place okay so if i call this t a t is also equal to eight right so we have eight here now we have found parts of line a b similarly from here to here is also three which is the radius of the smaller circle so it means that if i call this p that p b is also equal to three okay so this place is three so we have found from here to here which is eight and from here to here which is three the only thing that is remaining is tp so how do we find it first of all let us draw a line because this line is perpendicular to this line right sorry this line is parallel parallel to this line and perpendicular to line a b so we have this right so if i should drop a parallel line to tp okay now we can decide to drop a straight line to join the two centers of these two circles okay so let me join that all right now remember that this is also 90 degrees okay and from here to here is the radius of the bigger circle which is eight and from here to here is the radius of the smaller circle which is three so it means that this length is eight plus three which is eleven now coming to this side remember that this place is also parallel to this place so it means that from here to here is three right but the whole of this is eight so if this place is three then from here to here is what eight minus three which is five now let us draw out the right angle that we just formed please click the subscription button and turn on the notification bell if this is the first time you are seeing us okay give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video and please always see at your convenience there must be something new for you to watch by god's grace thank you very much so let's go ahead and draw the right angle we formed this is not drawn to scale please now this place is what eight plus three which is 11 from here to here is unknown but from here to here is five okay now let's call this x using the pythagorean theorem using the pythagorean theorem then we have that 11 squared 
is equal to 5 squared plus x squared. So let's transfer this to this side. 11 squared minus 5 squared is equal to x squared. Remember that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b. So we can write this as 11 minus 5 multiplied by 11 plus 5 is equal to x squared. Now, 11 minus 5 is 6, so we have 6. 11 plus 5 is 16. We have 16. Is equal to x squared. Now, 6 times 6 is 36, right? 6 carry 3. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 3 is 9. So we have 96 is equal to x squared. So it simply means that x is what? Square root of 96, which is equal to... Now, I don't want to leave my answer in short form. So I want to write it in decimal form. Let's use the calculator from this one, okay? So we have the square root of 96, which is approximately approximately 9.8, okay? 9.8 units. That is the length of TP, okay? So TP is 9.8 units. All right. So in essence, the length of this particular square, um, rectangle, sorry, the length of the rectangle is equal to, permit me to clean this one, please. <laughs> All right. Now, AB is equal to 8 plus 9.8 plus 3. Okay? All right. Now, we have AB is equal to 8 plus 3 is 11. And 11 plus 9.8 is 20.8 okay so we have found a b so what is remaining now is a d now remember what i said that this is not drawn to scale but the center of this circle coincides with the center of a d so if the center of this circle lines with the center of a d now remember that from here to here is also the radius of this circle which is eight so it means that from here to here is also 8. And from here to here is also 8. So it simply means that AD is 8 times 2, right? Or 8 plus 8, which is 16. Therefore, area of the rectangle A, B, C, D is equal to AB multiplied by AD. So this is equal to 20.8 multiplied by AD16. So let's go ahead and write that. 20.8 multiplied by 16, which is equal to 332.8 units squared. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye. Mommy.